In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to take this old tray and turn it into a beautiful farmhouse tray. Then we're going to take these little chairs that look like they came from Boyd's Bears and turn them into a beautiful display for your plants. Lastly, we'll take this little seating tray kit that I got from the thrift store and turn it into something beautiful for your cottage porch. So you ready to dive into this week's projects? Well then, come on, let's do them. Before we get started though, I'd just like to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you could do that, I'd really appreciate that. And also ring the bell, that way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. A while back, I bought this tray at the thrift store. It has those seed packets glued down. I hate the red handles. And I think I got that for, what is it, $4.99 at the thrift store. Um, it's distressed to the point where it just really doesn't look good and we're gonna make it over. I started by scraping and sanding those seed packets off. Then I gave it a coat of white paint using this flat white enamel by Rust-Oleum. It required two coats and after it was dry, I used a little sandpaper and distressed it very lightly. Then in Photoshop, I came up with a design that I thought would look really good on there, and then I took it into the Silhouette Studio. I let the Silhouette do its magic, and then we came up with an awesome vinyl decal. I then peeled back any extra vinyl so that we could see our design. After that, it was time to weed out any extra vinyl that might be left, such as in the A, in the R, and things like that. I applied some transfer tape over the design, and now it is time to put it down onto the tray. I'm gonna proceed to kind of just go over this transfer tape to make sure that the, all the letters are down really good. And then we're going to pull the transfer tape off and that will allow us to put our letters on this tray here. Just carefully peel them off because you never know if some of them are not going to come off. Are not going to come up, I should say. And in that case, all you have to do is just run your credit card over it again and they should come up for you to go slow you see any of them that are not coming up again just rub your credit card over it Now we have it on the transfer tape. I'm going to line that up on our board. And I think that looks really good there. So I'm going to go over it with my credit card. And then we're just going to peel our transfer tape off. Again, do that slowly. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go over it one more time with my credit card to make sure it's all down. And I think this looks beautiful. A 
Look how gorgeous that came out. I love it. I will have this final decal in my Etsy store, so if you want to do something similar, it will be there for you to purchase, and I'll leave a link in the description. As I was telling you before, I bought these chairs at the thrift store. I think I paid $2.99 a piece for them. Anytime I can find chairs, I always buy them. As you can see, these are like old looking. They're like from the Boyd Bears era, and we definitely want to remake them. I started by spray painting these with glossy black paint. For this project, I'm using Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel Paint in black. And look how beautiful this came out. It just really gives it a new life. You can display your plants in it. I always sell these like crazy. I probably can make $10 a piece on each of these. Our next project is the seed tray kit that I bought from the thrift store. Let's see what this kit has. It was originally from Joann's, so I guess they used to sell it there. It comes with little bright paints, but you know, I'm not really into those bright paints, but I will keep these because those are always good to have. And these stencils, mm, not for me. Sun. Flower, yeah, strawberry, not so much. These are cool to have. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is paint this black. We're gonna use um, Black Velvet by Do It Yourself Paint. Now I'm painting the entire thing black. You don't have to be very careful with this. You just wanna Put it on and if you miss spots it's totally okay because this is just the undercoat we're going to put a different color on top and we're only doing this so that when we sand or if we just miss a little bit that this black will come shining through and it'll look nice and distressed So now we have that done and we're just going to let that dry. If you remember, I went to that cute little store, Sweet and Sassy Treasures, and she sells all that do-it-yourself paint. And that's where I found this fun little color we're going to use. I'm going to leave a link in the description just in case you want to buy something because she does do shipping. We have this fun little color here. It's called Gypsy Green and we're gonna paint this gypsy green over the black now that the black has dried. Now we're gonna paint the entire thing. However, if we miss a spot or two, it's totally okay because that black is gonna shine through and it's gonna look really distressed. And that's the look we're going for. So that paint has dried and look how cool that looks. Some of that black is just kind of poking through and it just gives it a nice kind of distressed, vintage kind of look. So you don't have to paint the entire thing. You just wanna kind of like go over it and you can even miss spots because again, that just gives it a really nice look. We can even go and sand this a little bit more around the edges and it'll look even better. So I'm just going to do a little bit of distressing here on the edges. See how that's bringing that black out right there? Same right here. And now I think I'm going to make a decal for the front, which will just kind of make it look even cooler. So let's go ahead and do that now.
I'm going to peel away the excess vinyl so we can expose our lettering. After that, you're going to want to weed out all the extra little pieces of vinyl. I've added some transfer tape to our lettering and now we're ready to put it onto our box. I'm just going to go over the transfer tape with the credit card to make sure that all the lettering is sticking to the transfer tape. Alright, so now we have it on our transfer tape and we're just going to put that right in the front. I think that looks beautiful. Let me make sure it's lined up. I think that looks really good. So now we're going to take our credit card again and we're going to go over it once more, this time so that the letters will stay down onto our our little wooden tote here. Again, if you see any of them sticking up, just go over them again with your credit card. Just go really slow so you don't tear them. Okay, now I'm going to go over them once more with the credit card to make sure they're all down. I think that looks beautiful. Okay, now what we're going to do is just decorate it a little and stage it. So I want to add a hang tag to this cute little cottage living box. I think it would just be a nice little touch. These are also available in my Etsy store as a download for $2.50 and you get all six of these. I do have the Farm Life too if you're interested. They're just a cute little added thing, you know, that you can put with your stuff and it just gives it a nice finished look. So I'm just gonna probably go with maybe the lavender. I think that's really pretty. We could put that on our box. So I'm going to use this cutter, and what I love about this cutter is it's so precise. Okay, so we have this cute little hang tag, and I bought this at the dollar store. It's a hole punch, and I'm just going to punch a little hole right in the center here, and we're going to tie a piece of jute around it. how cute that is. Okay, let's go ahead and tie that around our box. How cute is that for your cottage or a wraparound porch? If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.